Spinosaurus aegypticus, commonly called Spinosaurus, was a carnivorous dinosaur that lived about 97 million years ago in northern Africa. The Spinosaurus was first discovered in 1915 from the first fossil, known as the holotype fossil. Unfortunately, German bombings in World War I ended up destroying the skeleton. The holotype fossil for Spinosaurus was incomplete, having only a piece of the lower jaw and some of the vertebra. Over the course of the 20th century, references from the holotype specimen bones from closely related species, as well as some new fossil pieces were put together to create this image of Spinosaurus, a mostly terrestrial theropod who may have spent some time wading through tidal flats, but was a capable terrestrial predator. This depiction can be seen in 2001's Jurassic Park 3, where Spinosaurus has long legs and can compete with animals like the T-Rex on land. The Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 can swim in water, but its long legs make it capable of being a top predator on land. In 2014, a group of scientists, led by Nizar Ibrahim, found a new sub-adult Spinosaurus fossil and dropped this big paper. Semi-aquatic adaptations in a giant predatory dinosaur. Paleontologists found a neotype, which was a new fossil made to replace the destroyed holotype. This paper revealed that Spinosaurus's back legs were actually much shorter than previously thought. In addition, Ibrahim's paper brought forward several more pieces of evidence that Spinosaurus was semi-aquatic. The bones were much denser than terrestrial vertebrates, which can make the Spinosaurus heavier and make it easier for it to dive and swim. In addition, Spinosaurus had a smaller pelvis than most terrestrial theropods, suggesting it was less capable on land than previously thought. This led researchers to believe that Spinosaurus may have had to walk on four legs when on land. Building on this work in 2020, Ibrahim published another important paper further changing Spinosaurus's iconic image. Tail propelled aquatic locomotion in a theropod dinosaur. This time, Ibrahim uncovered more of the 2014 neotype fossil of Spinosaurus and unveiled a previously unprecedented feature in dinosaurs, a specialized tail used for swimming. Spinosaurus's new slender tail looks like it belonged on an eel, not a dinosaur. Ibrahim proposed that Spinosaurus could move this tail laterally to propel the Spinosaurus underwater. This new tail gave increased support to the idea that Spinosaurus was more than just a wader who would pick fish from shallow waters, think of a heron, but instead a proficient swimmer as well. In a 2021 paper titled, Contributions to a Discussion of Spinosaurus aegypticus as a Capable Swimmer and Deepwater Predator, Jan and Ulrich Gizma present their views of the swimming capabilities of Spinosaurus. The authors predicted that Spinosaurus could change its buoyancy, or flotation, through the presence of air sacs to increase its ability to float, or the swallowing of stones, known as gastroliths, to make it better at sinking and diving. Air sacs are air-filled spaces in birds, which make them lighter. The best density for swimming in freshwater is about one kilogram per liter, which Spinosaurus likely could have achieved through a combination of air sacs, denser bones, and the swallowing of gastroliths, again, stones. Gimsa and Gimsa see Spinosaurus as using its sail for underwater stability and its large tail to steadily and slowly patrol for prey. To compensate for its low swimming speed, Spinosaurus may have used its long, flexible neck to quickly snatch underwater prey. The authors ultimately conclude that Spinosaurus may have lived an even more aquatic lifestyle than previously thought. Pushing back on this idea, a research team led by Paul Sereno published the paper Spinosaurus was not an aquatic dinosaur in 2022. Sereno created a full flesh model of the Spinosaurus with muscles and airspace, such as lungs and air sacs. To figure out the internal anatomy of the Spinosaurus, which is really important for swimming, the authors made three models based on the internal anatomy of living lizards, crocodiles, and birds respectively. For these three different models, the body's surface area, mass, and volume was calculated both as a whole and for each body segment. Running simulations with this model, they found Spinosaurus's maximum swimming speed would be about 1.4 meters per second, or around three miles per hour, which is very slow for an underwater predator. However, I would caution that these calculations are contingent on their models accurately recreating the internal anatomy of Spinosaurus, something that would be very difficult. Also, they didn't include the possibility that Spinosaurus used gastroliths to increase its density. Their whole model is built on the presumption that Spinosaurus was too light. Its density was too low for ideal swimming. Sereno also points out that freshwater secondary aquatic vertebrates, meaning animals that went back to the water, are typically much smaller, and that Spinosaurus would have lived in inland waters rather than marine environments, which could offer more food. This paper supports the idea that Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic wader rather than an aquatic pursuit predator. Paleontology is a field defined 
by limited and often missing information. Yet, this lack of information drives researchers to adopt inventive approaches, refine existing techniques, and sometimes take risks to figure out how these ancient creatures lived. I hope I was able to give you some insight into an ongoing back and forth in the paleontology community about the lifestyle of Spinosaurus. These papers and debates may seem overwhelming at times, but they'll ultimately develop into a portrayal of Spinosaurus that's most accurate to the creature that lived 97 million years ago. A portrayal that's closest to the truth. And that is what paleontology is all about. Thanks for watching.